just wanted to show you a couple things I uh, obtained in a trade today. I think it uh, ended up being a pretty good deal. Um, kind of can see them there. Um, the most unexpected thing out of the lot being this uh, copy of Pinball, which I wanted to get just because it's one of the classic uh, black box games. and. Uh, I, tend to like video pinball and uh, this one seems, seems to be pretty good I don't didn't play it as a kid but um the cartridge felt kind of heavy and uh, I saw it had five screws on the back there uh, I got kind of excited and sure enough it had the uh, uh, Famicom adapter in there which uh, as I'm sure you know is the uh, just a Famicom cartridge on top of uh, uh, plugged into an NES uh, board or, you know, it's just a uh, pin adapter, and then there was some kind of shortage or something Nintendo claimed at the time, I, I guess, uh, and they made that adapter to get enough games to the North American market or whatever. So that's a cool find. Uh, I'm not going to take it out of there right now because I actually have a AV Famicom uh, set up with a you know Famicom console to NES cartridge adapter, which has been modified for compatibility. Um, seen a few videos on that that pretty much did the same thing uh, that I did so uh, I might do a video on it still uh, at some point but I'm just gonna leave this uh, in the cartridge for now uh, but it's just cool to know that I have one of those uh, came, and came in one of those nice uh, official blue cases too so that's cool I don't really collect those but whatever uh, I got a copy of Sonic 2 which again you know no particular gem but it's just a game I wanted to get uh, it, I also don't really collect um, box Genesis games so much, but uh, you know I have a couple. Uh, so uh, and then I got these uh, four GameCube games. Uh, I think that's all the Sims games. I believe these all have the manuals in them. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I believe. So they all they all feel like they have the manuals in them. Feel weighty enough. Oh shit, oh, it's got a memory card in there. Look at that. A little surprise. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Very cool. I'm gonna check all of these. Uh, yeah, nice free memory card as well. Uh, definitely a good deal. Yeah, I traded uh, just a couple of N64 games and uh, uh, four gray controllers out of my pile of mini, so. Uh, yeah, overall, I'd say this uh, this turned out to be quite a good deal. Uh, and also, the I uh, got a pile of uh, Genesis controllers over there. He had a Model One Genesis that I was uh, you know considering. You know, you know uh, I have a Model Two, but I'd like to have a Model One as well. So, uh, but he didn't really want to part with the Genesis itself, so he kept a couple of the third-party controllers that look like they're still working. Uh, this one is uh, is not working. Uh, it's got some see some rust on there this one's not working uh, properly it looks like uh, maybe some of the buttons are but um, but that's an official pad uh, I've always wanted one that had like the red trim on it so hopefully I can clean it up and it'll be decent um, yeah I should be able to fix it it's just you know, broken wires or whatever uh, should be two of those yeah there's two of the official ones that both have the kind of messed up wires there at the top but those are nice. I uh, hope I can clean those up a bit. Uh, this one's a six button controller that uh, it was like a, the guy said it was a rental from Blockbuster, and you see the sticker on there. So it's kind of weird. I didn't know that they rented Genesis pads. It looks like kind of the Blockbuster blue colors on there, too. So kind of interesting. And then there's one that is uh, just a uh, six button, looks like a turbo pad, but the uh, D pad's broken off. So that one will be uh, just for parts, maybe the cord. The cord looks like it's in good shape compared to the other ones. So, so uh, overall, I think that's a pretty good haul. Um, I got two two surprises. This uh, first one being uh, that this had a, a pinball. Uh, this, or this cartridge pinball had the Famicom adapter, and, uh, and I got a free GameCube memory card in there, so. I think I got that I sold on uh, some GameCube joysticks for the N64 controllers. He was just in a bit of a hurry today.
So 